guys, Insomnia here with some more AFK Arena. Today we are back in chapter 33, 33-49. We're going to go ahead and try to finish out the rest of this chapter so we can get into 34. I know we're a little bit over leveled on here, but even looking at the power, we got about a 100 plus level deficiency gap. So definitely making a little bit of headway. Still running the lockout team, so running the God tier comp absolutely destroys the campaign with Tassie doing an incredible amount of damage here. 114 million damage is what Tassie is putting out as a support class. That is one of the reasons I recommend building twins to Mythic Plus first because of their utility and then going all in Tassie all the way to Ascended as your second hero. Not only will it give you the ability to pick up more guild coins through the bosses, also the Twisted Essence, the Abyssal Expedition, a lot of the campaign stages, as well as a lot of the Voyages of Wonder, are made that much easier by building the twins. That's why I recommend, again, building them first to Mythic to unlock that signature item, and then going all in for Taylene, because essentially no other hero does what the twins do, specifically with the ultimate ability and the haste buff to the entire team. But looking here, again, Taylene attacks so fast and she heals massive, massive heals. Remember, from the Elder Tree, she also gets all of the healing buffs, which provide a significant increase there. So even looking, she does 92 million damage, 90 million healing. That is correct, 90 million healing. So we get back into our five teams. This team actually seems to work pretty well that I've been kind of running. So we're running Ainz with essentially with Athalia, with Wukong. We're going to switch in this team out because I want to actually put the Wilder team in this one. I think it's going to be a lot stronger with the synergy to go ahead and take down this team of Maulers. Warwick, if left unchecked, is very, very tough to kill. He can destroy your team very, very fast, but we get through that one relatively easy. 118 million damage to Iran, and Iran is a hero that will carry you through the entire game. So we have Wukong here, we have um, Athelia here, Ainz we're just waiting on the ult, Arthur provides the aura to Ainz, allowing him to attack faster, Pharrell, crowd control, very, very strong team there, 89 million from Ainz, Wukong putting up big numbers very, very quickly in that battle as well. This is our lockout team, except we did swap out Mahira for Tassie. So Tassie in this one is a little bit of a cheaper version of crowd control. But remember, Mahira has the Mesmerize to attack each other. Tassie has the Slumber, but Tassie also per possesses the Banish ability, which can keep heroes completely locked down with campaign stages. Does take Taylene a little bit longer to get through the enemies because Mahira is not providing the damage, but Tassie provides the additional crowd control in this battle to make it very, very easy. 147 million damage there from Taylene. Again, support class, very, very crazy. This one, Hendrik is drilled to push back Ezio for the finisher. And of course, Rose is going to go on Gwen, allowing Gwen to maximize her damage. Double Hendrik shields, one on each side. But there is the rain, and of course, Ezio with the finishing moves to go ahead and take out that Sage. Ezio, if you did not get him, Gwen did 123 million. You're not going to have an opportunity to get him as of yet. Lilith has talked about possibly re-releasing limited edition heroes. But that could be rumor, could be hearsay. We will never know until the future to see if they ever do release them again. This is still kind of the hodgepodge team, but made it look pretty easy because that last stage is a little bit easier, doing 37 million damage from Isold, which is what I put Isold in there. He's a hero that if you can get him to scale, his damage is just, there's no cap to his damage and his survivability. Having his three-piece furniture is a necessity. I repeat, 100% is a necessity to have. Looking at the team here, continuing with the lockout team, just got to wait through the shield, but with Aziz putting down his ground-burning effect, nullifying a lot of Brutus's damage, making, again, stage very, very easy to destroy the stage right there. 61 million, 42 million damage from Mahira, so putting up big numbers as well with the mage sitting in the back. Remember, she is just pretty much there for that Mesmerize effect. Um, she does do quite a bit of damage though, but the Mesmerize effect to actually crowd control the entire team to attack themselves, one of the strongest ultimate abilities that we have in the game because essentially the enemy team just destroys themselves 
with damage while Taylene plays cleanup. And also Aziz provides that mitigation for the damage that the heroes are doing. 102 million damage there from Taylene, bring us to 33-55. So we are almost done with this chapter. The main account, I don't push the campaign very much. I know a lot of people got a message in YouTube today that said, hey, don't neglect this. I want to see the main campaign run. So I said, you know what? We'll go ahead and do it. And here we are running the main campaign, pushing all the way to 34. We're going to push into chapter 34 as we continue to make progression here. Again, the lockout team, the, the power is unmatched by any other team, even the Ainz team. 99 million, 72 million damage there from Ahira. The, the Ainz team can compete to a point, but it just seems that lockout team is such a key, key team. Even here, pull everyone early in with Iran. Like is in there to provide the haste and the energy buff, allowing Iran to do 121 million damage. Even there, 52 from Soros. So Soros putting in a lot of damage. Athalia in the back on Nomura, killing her off very, very easy. Ultimate ability, just destroying the entire team. And that is the power of the Ainz. Making sure you build him here. I don't even have a plus 20 signature item. Definitely needs to be built out a lot more, but his power is just absolutely dominating, especially when you have his furniture and when you have his signature item completely maxed out just does phenomenal damage. Lockout team with Tassie here again. And a lot of people always ask, can the lockout team work with Tassie? Absolutely, if you don't build Mahira. There's the Banish on Brutus, and that's what I was talking about a little bit earlier. It really, really helps to have the Banish versus having the Mahira CC, because Tassie provides both forms of crowd control, plus she does the attack reduction. So when she actually teleports, she reduces the attack rating of the heroes around her wherever she lands, which is a lot of RNG, but randomly, very cool. Ezio burns the team down with the help of Gwen, 107 million damage. Gwen does damage very, very quick, which is further by Arthur. Being in Arthur's shadow just does absolute phenomenal damage. Mahira, we are here with the crowd control. Brutus doesn't do the most damage, which is a reason, but we bring him for the immunity. The immunity shield, very, very good. Let's see the damage on this one. Look at that, 65 million, 27 million from Mahira. Again, Brutus tank is here for the immunity shield. Bring us to 33.57. Again, lockout team with Mahira having the mage artifact, Rowan having the, Rowan having the potion. Um, Mahira ults very, very fast. Usually towards the beginning of battle, she will ult which will buy the twins time to get this haste buff going and just to start essentially the super cycle of haste and ultimate abilities. Also remember, not only the ultimate abilities as they cycle through their skills very, very fast because of the twins. 115 million damage there on Taylene again, bring us to 33-58. This team comp's pretty tough because Scrag, we cannot crowd control Falks, if he gets his confine up, can be devastating depending on who it lands on. But overall, it seems like we're going to have them locked down enough that Falks is not going to be able to do anything because he is just completely CC'd. So now we just have to kill out Scrag because he cannot be crowd controlled. So he'll actually just sit there and attack and do his thing until we burn him down. So 99 million, 80 million damage there from Ahira doing a significant amount, 33-59. Again, boom, there's the early, early Mesmerize ability, having them attack each other. A couple more attacks, boom, there it is again. And Taylene just walks around and burns the heroes down one by one. Antandra pushing back Aziz. Antandra can burn down the, Quin the twins pretty quick, but Aziz, not so much. He is very, very... Um, tough, especially with his mitigation there. So looking at the damage, 75 million, 66 million, which brings us to the stage, guys. It is 33-60. Wow, we got like 117, 118 level deficit. What, five, 117 le uh, deficit. But we moved the, the lockout team to this team. 
The team we're fighting has a lot of support. So 33-60 carries a lot of support. Very, very hard to kill with a burst team because of the support that they bring with Rose, with Rowan. Overall, very tough. If you have a team that can kind of support, burn them down like Taylene does, 140 million damage there. Very, very easy to get past the stage. This one, we're going to stay with the Athalia and the Wukong. Wukong, I want to get built. Just got him completely maxed out on the pay-to-win account. I want to build him up and see just how powerful he does when it comes to the campaign. Because when he has his ads up, it seems like it's very, very hard not only to crowd control him, but also he does a lot of damage on a lot of different targets. He can tank a lot of different targets. Um, so this one, we're going to go with the Wilder team. We're going to swap in Lorzen again. Um, and I want to pull, I pulled Brutus away, which is exactly what we want to do, popping his shield earlier, but keeping Brutus away from the rest of the team, kind of separating him so he can't have the ability to whirlwind the entire team down. 96 million there from Iran, which brings us to Ezio and Gwen. So Gwen in the middle. Boom, there's the ultimate ability. Ezio just, the, the finishing moves the, the insta-death is such a strong ability. 142 million damage there. And our final team, guys, 33-60. If we can get this one down, it will be completed. Isolde went down early. But it looks like Cecilia is just doing a lot of damage. Got a stun up top, though. Boom, there's the Mesmerize. If we can get Rain down, I think we just did. There we go. We should have it, guys. We just have to worry about the last two heroes down there. Lucius shielding. Boom. There's the alt. Took him down. There it is. 33-60 is complete, folks. Chapter 33 bites at us. First team and only team that is into chapter 34. So 33 is done. Finally. Finally made the progression on the main account. Going into chapter 34. The Sunken Lands. First time ever seeing it. So very, very cool. We'll go ahead and we'll collect up our loot. And that will do it for the push, guys. 34-1, the wall. Look at the Great Wall of China, maybe? Great Wall of something, but this is usually the stopping point for a lot of different accounts, is Chapter 34. So go ahead and let me know in the comments what you guys think. We're into Chapter 34, ready for the push in here. And as always, thank you guys for watching.